Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly issue in Windows 11. There are so many causes of this error. Some common causes are power loss during boot process, premature shutdown before Windows startup, incorrect configuration, problematic drivers, and recent Windows update. If your computer encounters issues booting into Windows, it might display the your PC did not start correctly error message. This error signals a disruption in the boot process, possibly needing your intervention. Sometimes restarting the computer might resolve the issue, yet if it freezes. But don't worry, there are alternative solutions available. So let's get started. First, begin troubleshooting by restarting your computer, which is the initial step when encountering this error. A simple reboot can often resolve temporary issues, allowing your Windows to boot up normally. To initiate a restart from the error screen, choose the Restart option. After rebooting, if not solved, first, I'll suggest you to check integrity of the file system and the storage drive for the error by using command prompt. To access the command prompt from the error screen, select Advanced option. Then troubleshoot, then open the command prompt. In the command prompt window, type chkdsk space your system drive letter colon space for slash f. After typing the command, press enter to execute it. The for slash f parameter tells chkdsk to fix any error it's find automatically. chkdsk may take some time to complete, depending on the size of the drive and the number of errors found. It will display its progress as it works. Please note, in some cases, CHKDSK may require a restart to complete its repairs. After CHKDSK completes, it will display a summary of its findings. If it found any errors and was able to fix them, it will indicate this in summary. If you are lucky, then this simple method will help to fix the problem. If not solved, then use the Startup Repair tool. Within Windows, there exists a repair tool designed to address numerous boot-related issues automatically. If your attempts at the rebooting have not resolved the problem, consider utilizing the Startup Repair tool. To access this tool from the error screen, follow this step. Select Advanced option, then Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced option and then Startup Repair. Upon selection Startup Repair, you will be prompted to log into your user account and grant the tool permission to proceed. Once the repair process concludes, attempt another restart to ascertain if Windows boot successfully. Or if you see the error message, Startup Repair could not repair your PC, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Access Safe Mode to initiate Windows with only SSL components. To achieve this from the error screen, click Advanced option, then Troubleshoot. Next, Advanced option. Now click on Startup Settings and click on Restart. Now press F4 or 4 to enable safe mode. Upon successfully entry into safe mode, you will need to remove recently installed Windows updates which might be responsible for startup errors. To do that, first go to Windows search, then search for uninstall updates. Then you will see install update histories. Now locate the most recent Windows update and press uninstall next to it. Now just reboot once, after that hopefully your problem will be solved.
perform system restore to resolve the issue. If alteration made by you or another user or an application triggered the problem, the system restore process can revert these changes and restore stability. You can access this utility through advanced option, then system restore from the error screen. System restore related detailed tutorial is here. Also the tutorial link is given in the description below. Repair your Windows boot configuration data. If your boot configuration data is corrupt, then it will prevent Windows from loading properly. To do this, from the error screen, go to advanced option, then troubleshoot and then command prompt. You can follow the detailed step by step tutorial from here and also the tutorial link is given in the description below. If you still can't boot into Windows, then you can try to fix this problem by resetting your PC. But before resetting your PC, I'll suggest you to try this method by using Windows 11 new troubleshooting feature, fix problems using Windows updates. If you somehow manage to successfully boot your system, then go to settings. Then choose system. Under system, click on recovery. Now look at the fix problems using Windows update option and press reinstall next to it. This action reinstall the operating system while preserving personal files, settings and applications providing a clean state for resolving system issues or restoring system stability. It's essentially reinstall Windows without deleting your personal data. After that, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. Now keep patience until the repair process is fully completed. If you are unable to perform this operation or still can't boot into Windows, then I'll suggest you to reset your computer from Windows recovery environment. Here's a detailed tutorial on how to perform system reset from the error screen. If you still can't boot after reinstalling Windows or you are not able to install Windows, you may have a hardware failure that will require you to replace the faulty components. If your computer is still under warranty, then I will suggest you to contact the manufacturer for additional support. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.